AI upscaling has become really popular these days, but the issue is that you usually have to pay some online service to be able to do so, with a lot of limitations. In this video, we're going to see a tool that will help us to upscale our images with AI for free without any limitations. Let's go! Before we begin, I invite you to subscribe and leave a comment if you liked the video. I always heard comments. Hello world, by Zafir. If you're new to the channel, I make videos about tech, software, and everything in between. Now, a while ago, I found about this tool called Upscale. It's an open source image upscaling tool. Here's the GitHub repository, github.com slash upscale slash upscale. Well, as you can see, it is cross-platform, so it is available for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. It has a Linux-first philosophy, so they prioritize Linux builds over other operating systems. It is made with Electron, which I know for a lot of you can be a bad thing, but I think that having an Electron app is way better than not having the app at all. So it doesn't bother me that much. It is licensed under the AGPL 3.0, so Stallman approves. <laughs> and the last release was Upscale V1.5.5, released 17 days ago, so the project is very active, it has a lot of stores. Yeah, it does deserve these stores. It's written in JavaScript, Python, and CSS. They say that version 2 will probably release next month, in November, so I'll keep an eye for that. A very important thing is that Upscale does not work without a dedicated GPU. You need to have a Vulkan compatible GPU to use it, and that means that most CPUs with integrated graphics and old GPUs probably won't work. I tried it with an integrated GPU uh, from an Intel processor that was pretty old, so yeah, it didn't work at all. But with my RX 6600, it does work perfectly. In Linux, we have a couple of options. For example, you can get it from the App Image Hub from the Arch Linux user repository. They also include a flat pack if you prefer that. In macOS, they provide a .dmg file, and in Windows, they provide the .exe installator. <laughs> now, uh, it's kind of funny how they represent Linux with a penguin, macOS with an apple, and Windows with a snail. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think it's justified. Um, and here we have a couple of comparisons with very small pictures of 300 pixels and stuff like that. We're gonna do a couple of tests. Part of the roadmap is to allow video upscaling, which it's pretty cool to think about. It probably will take a lot of time to be implemented and it will take a lot of time to render those videos, but it would be really cool to see that. And even probably in the future, if they added like a feature to add more frames to an existing video. And well, if you want to clone the repository, here are the commands and a lot of stuff here. I'm on Windows, unfortunately, and we're gonna download the exe file here, upscale setup 1.5.5 exe. So just click on the exe file. Probably Windows will tell you that it could be a malicious file because of the smart screen thing, uh, but we already know that it's not a virus or anything like that, it's just fast. Just wait a couple of seconds, and that's it. It was installed. If you want to launch it, you can just like type upscale and it will appear in your stored menu or list of apps. The UI is pretty simple. We just have to select the file, the type of that file, the output folder, and click on upscale. Um, it's very pretty, very minimalistic. I like it. And we can also toggle batch upscaling, so we can just 
drag and drop a folder and it will upscale all the images there. Now here I have a couple of pictures. Here I have a couple of stock pictures that I got from pexels.com. It's a great website. The dimensions of these are of thousands of pixels like 4,000, 3,000 and these are very big pictures. For example, let's go check this one. This one has the highest resolution out of them all and if we zoom in you can see all the details in her skin and the hair. It is just an insane amount of resolution. Same goes for all the other ones like this one that has a sign still has a pretty large resolution so you can notice all the details i have another folder here that has these are the same pictures but they are 10 times smaller so they lose a lot of detail here i have them in gimp the way i reduced their size was here an image scale image and reduced it by 10 times the original picture was of 3000 pixels and something and this one is just of 300 pixels there is a lot of detail lost even though you can still tell that it's a beach same goes for all the other ones the resolution has been reduced a lot and this one you probably don't see it at first glance but once you zoom in just a little you will notice that yeah it's definitely not the same amount of detail same goes for this one. So I'm going to drag and drop the folder of these low res pictures and let's see the results. Okay, it doesn't support drag and dropping. Folders at least. So select the folder, here low res, general pictures, set the output folder to upscaled. You can change it to digital art or sharpen image. I find that the best type of upscaling is just general photos. Sometimes sharpening image doesn't actually sharpen it and I have to just select general photo. Probably it's a bug or probably I'm using it wrong but just keep that in mind. It's going up pretty fast and it was all done. So now let's check the upscaled images. The first one it's this. Let's compare them side by side. The one on the left, it's the low res image. I'm gonna zoom in a little. This one is the original picture and this one is the upscaled one. Now, um, let's check for example here, the letters. The best one is the original one. It did struggle a little bit there, but like probably at first glance you don't notice it unless you zoom in. It also had a little trouble with the pattern of the building, like you can definitely definitely see that it's kind of like a lot of stripes and here it missed a couple of details. Now let's check here the lights of the trains. I'd say that the original is probably the best, but still the upscaled one doesn't look that bad, at least to me. If you compare it to the low res image, it does look way better, the upscaled one. It does tend to smooth things out a little bit too much, for example here, check the roof of this, yeah. The, the the original is the best one in this case. Well, to be fair, in the low res photo, you can barely tell that it's a subway. Like, I'd say that you cannot even tell. On the original one, you can tell, in fact. You can kind of notice it, but it's not that fair. Probably I did reduce the size a little bit too much. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's check here the ocean and in this case the original one is the best one i'd say let's check the trees well in this one it doesn't look that bad actually let's check the rocks and again the original one has a couple of more details but it didn't have a lot to work with here we have again low res original and upscaled Let's check here. Well, it doesn't look that bad. Let's check here the moon. They look kind of similar. And the trees here. Again, the original one is the best, but this one doesn't look that bad either, considering what it had. 
low res, original and upscaled. Let's see, for example, here the face. We don't get the same amount of crazy detail that we did get with the original picture, but I think it's a great improvement coming from this one. Well, I actually can barely notice a difference in this case with the upscaled one. And I mean, it really didn't struggle that much coming from this that looks really bad, how it made it more smooth, but at the same time, you can notice the individual hairs. I think that it's kind of impressive. And the final one, you can notice definitely a difference coming from this to this. Yeah, it did struggle a little bit with the more thin text. Didn't really notice the little details that are here. But I mean, if we go to the low res one, you can't notice them there either. Actually, did a pretty good job in this one. It does miss a little bit of texture, but again, the essential details are still there. And if you go here to the original one and then look at the upscaled one, you can see that it did try to focus this building that appeared on the back. At first, like, if you don't zoom in, it does look kind of really good, but when you zoom in, it does fall apart. Now I'm gonna do the final thing, and that is that I'm gonna select the original pictures that do have a good amount of resolution, and I'm gonna upscale them even more. And let's upscale them. Well, that took like 5 to 10 minutes. <laughs> for all of these pictures. Now let's compare them. This is the original one and this is the upscaled one. Yeah, I didn't notice a better resolution in this one. The details are almost the same, but for example here in the text, it is a lot more clear. It's more clear the upscaled one, just a little bit more. For example, uh, this line is a little bit too sharp and this one looks a little bit less sharp and yeah I do think that the upscaled one looks better because it's a lot more clean so if you have huge pictures the improvement can get smaller like the more resolution your original pictures have the smaller the improvement will be but you can still notice it let's see the roof of this again a lot smoother yeah again it's almost the same just a little bit less noise and well I mean it's like four times bigger. Let's quickly check the beach. Huh, again, I think this one looks better on the original one. Just to oh, it was unloading the whole picture. Now, um, yeah, definitely the upscaled one looks a lot better. Okay, let's check the trees. Again, I think that the upscaled one does look way more impressive in this uh, example. Let's check this one, starting with the moon. Uh, kind of looks better on the original one. Let's check the trees here. It looks so sharp that it looks a little bit weird. Wow, it, it does look very sharp. Let's go here, for example. Yeah, the upscaled one does look better. And again, the upscaled one looks better. Okay, maybe that thing that I said that the more your resolution increases, the less improvements you'll see, but probably isn't true. <laughs> like, in that first one, the conditions were probably not the best, but in this one, yeah, you can definitely notice a huge improvement. Yeah, it does improve the contrast and overall sharpness of the image a lot in this case. Okay, I'm really excited to see how this one goes. Actually, probably looks better yeah on the original one upscaling it four times like with a manual thing will look way worse than the upscaled one so not bad and the last one they look kind of the same probably this one loses a little bit of sharpness 
and the texture here got smoother which could be something that you want or could be not what you want the dust here does look a lot better though yeah and look at the texture here on the wall it is really a big improvement now that it has more detail if we look here now it does not know which parts to focus and which ones it shouldn't focus yeah look at this detail it looks way better on the upper scaled one. It is kind of impressive. It sometimes does improve a lot the original image, some other times it does lose a little bit of detail, but overall I'd say that it's a great tool and I'm really excited to see how it evolves with video upscaling. I really hope that this tool becomes kind of like a standard. Uh, I hope that the video is not too long. I wanted to try a couple of scenarios like with text, faces and stuff like that. Yeah, it looks promising. Again, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye world. See you in the next one.